It's Wednesday morning, August the 31st, 2022. It's a joy to be able to share some thoughts with you from the scriptures today. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota. And this morning, we're going to read Proverbs chapter 27, verse 22, and share some thoughts with you from this verse of scripture today. Proverbs 27, 22 says this, Though thou shouldest bray a fool in a mortar among wheat with a pestle, yet will not his foolishness depart from him. And he's talking about almost, the almost hopeless condition of a person who is a fool. And what is a fool? This word is found 73 times in the King James Bible. And it talks about a person who is, who is foolish, who doesn't have any sense. And in a lot of cases, it's a person who automatically and intentionally rejects truth and does and fails to resist evil. The Bible says the, fruit, the fool hath said in his heart, there is no God. And there are a lot of examples of the fool in the Bible, a person who will not respond to truth and his heart is set against truth, actually. And the Bible says even though you, even though you pound him like, like you do wheat with, in a mortar and pestle and try to crush that wheat into flour, yet this fool won't listen and you can't change his mind about such things. People who have their minds set foolishly are often very hard, if not impossible, to convince. And the foolish person who rejects and resists the truth on purpose is one of those. He's somebody who cannot be turned aside and will not listen to common sense and will not listen to reason. And the Bible says, no matter what you do, and this is the, the meaning of this illustration, no matter what you do, you can't turn a fool away from his foolishness. I've known some foolish people, people who were just set on resisting and rejecting truth. And God had to do a mighty work in their heart to turn them around if they were to be turned around. It took time and it was a matter of the person who was concerned about them spending a lot of time in prayer for them. You can't change somebody's mind. Somebody said a man convinced against his will is of the same opinion still. And sometimes that happens with a foolish person. He sets his mind in one particular direction and he won't be convinced even by sound reasoning or proof. The Bible indicates that the foolish person is like that. He's somebody who is just so set that he can't be discouraged or he can't be dissuaded from his foolish notions. And he won't come around to submitting to God because he doesn't want to. It's not what he chooses to believe. It's not what he insists is, is accurate. In spite of all the proof that we could present otherwise, Thank God that he's faithful. Thank God that he's responsive to people. I'm so thankful that God loves even fools and God works sometimes over time to get those people to come around to the right way of thinking. Don't give up on folks. Just keep on praying and keep on working and keep on witnessing and keep on being faithful and keep on submitting to truth and see what God will do in their heart. God bless you today.